Well, Steve writes, Steve RC9. Well, Madonna's been sued again by fans. Um, I find this a little bit funny, but um, I'm kind of on the fan side. Um, basically, they're suing Madonna for exposing her and other people to pornography without any warning. Um, they said they were exposed to topless women simulating sex acts live on stage, which they had no warning for. And I'm like, I'm on their side. Um, I have no problem with what people do on stage. I think artists should be free to do whatever. I don't believe in censorship. But you need to put warnings on the concerts or the promotional information so people who don't want to see that, don't want to be exposed to that, or don't want to take their children to that to be exposed to that, know what they're walking into. Um, the idea that she's Madonna and we all know what she does is not a good enough excuse. And if all it takes is a little line, you know, on the bottom of a ad or a ticket or a website saying, you know, may contain nudity or, you know, um, offensive language, then just do it. It's pretty simple. I, I just assumed they had something like that in there. It never occurred to me they wouldn't. So I'm kind of surprised to see that um, they don't because I doubt these people would be able to bring this lawsuit if it was as simple as you didn't read the bottom where it says in the small, you know, print that there may be nudity and, you know, foul language or whatever. So yeah, I'm totally on their side. It's just like the, the time issue. And they're also suing for that as well because she was an hour late. And I'm like, an hour late? That's pretty good. She was on stage at 9.30 apparently. That's the earliest I've heard. So that, that, that was funny. That part was funny. But um, yeah, so it's one guy suing. But he's not the only person to sue Madonna. A couple of people have sued her over the late times. And someone else sued her because she wouldn't allow them to turn the air conditioning on in the venue. And it was summer, I think. Yeah, summer. I'm just thinking it's winter in Australia, so yeah, it was summer in America. Um, and it was hot and they had to leave before the end of the concert, so they didn't get to have the whole concert they paid for because of the venue. So um, a few people are suing Madonna. They're not happy with how things have gone. I'm kind of on the fan side for the most part because like, all it takes, like I said, is just to print the correct time that you know Madonna will appear at like 9.30 or 10.30 or whatever time she's expected to. And just to be honest about that, and some people, sure, you're gonna. That's the problem. If they say that, less people will come to the show because they'll be like, "Oh God, I can't go to a late show. I can't go to like an eleven o'clock show." So they don't want to risk losing ticket sales, so they don't put anything discouraging in the um, information, and that's kind of deceptive and kind of. Um, um, I just don't like that. I don't think they should do it. So yeah, I'm f I'm totally for these fans suing because um, yeah, if if, if Madonna's people you know, overlook something that simple as putting a warning for content, um, they kind of deserve it because they're being paid to do stuff like that and they've obviously failed. So um, and as far as Madonna being late, that's her arrogance and her just wanting to make people wait so she feels important, which she needs to feel more important as she gets older because, you know, misogyny and everything, um, which is all valid, um, you know, the way women are treated in the recording industry and so forth and the film industry, you know, like, it's, yeah. But you can't take that out on the fans by creating some neurosis or whatever or, or whatever. But um, yeah, I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, I fully support the fans suing for her being late, turning off their conditioning, um, having pornography without any sort of warning because and foul language because some people do, just don't know. We just assume, oh, it's a Madonna concert. We all know what Madonna does. Some people have never been to a concert. They haven't... Madonna concert, they haven't looked at her live shows, they just know her music, and they're just going to go and have no idea what they're going to get. And that may be good in some ways, it might blow their minds, but it also may upset them, um, or traumatise them, <laughs> um, or, you know, be difficult if they take kids and don't understand, and warnings, that's what warnings are there. They're not to stop people from seeing something, they let people know what they're getting. So if Live Nation couldn't manage that, Madonna's team couldn't manage that, they deserve to be sued. So, there you go.